Hey guys, this is Alexintosh speaking. And today I was making some of the changes on the front end. This is the new front end, by the way. It's going to come out very, very soon. And one of these changes, I want to show the ENS address in this bubble over here. Uh, for those who don't know ENS, um, what ENS address are, it's basically this magical service uh, which will get you a human readable address for uh, your Ethereum address. So you can have something like alexintosh.eth. Now, I eventually realized a lot of people don't set up their ENS address correctly, uh, especially for the reverse lookup, uh, which is the functionality which specifically enables you to go from an X address, so like the numbers and letters, to this name over here. Um, so I decided to, to register one um, and to show you the way this works. So hopefully you can see your name over there. So the first thing I do is to basically search the name I want to register, alexintosh.if, there you go. I'm going to register it for two years and I'm going to request to register. Now, this actually became uh, extremely easy uh, most recently. Uh, as a matter of fact, uh, it used to be a little bit more complex, uh, but now it's super easy. So you just click on the register to request. Um, this will take a minute as the transaction uh, first need to be mining. And second, uh, it will need uh, to wait for a minute just to make sure that uh, there is no other person uh, which is trying to register the same name. So let's wait for a little bit here. In the meantime, um, I'll show you like the some of the new functionality of the front end. There is a lot going on. Uh, this is going to be like the new um, new front end uh, guide page, which is going to explain some of the products and uh, a bunch of interesting things. There you go. Our transaction mind. That's pretty cool. Now we need to wait uh, for a minute to do so. There you go, my ENS name is ready to be registered. So I'm gonna sign uh, another transaction. This will confirm uh, the registration of my ENS address. I'm gonna make it fast. And it's gonna cost me a little bit, uh, like 15 bucks. Well, that's, not, that's not too bad, uh, actually. So now we wait for the transaction to mine. And after we do this, um, automatically, the ENS manager, we actually uh, use the resolver, like the public resolver. So everything will be mostly set up for you. The only thing we need to do uh, after that is um, to add over like to my Ether wallet. In the meantime, I'm going to uh, access my wallet over here. Uh, I'm going to use this thing, access my wallet. There you go. And uh, just in preparation of that, uh, I'm going to go into the contract, interact with contract. And then I'm going to search for the resolver, ENS public resolver. There you go. Um, so here we want to do, oh, actually, this is the wrong one. Sorry about that. We want to search for the ENS reverse uh, register. There you go. Continue. So let's check this. Um, very good, very good. So we actually managed to register our ENS address. There you go. So uh, we can see we have our resolver. We just have to... Um, to do this again. So once you find yourself here, like you are supposed to find uh, somewhere uh, like a button saying, hey, you know what, like you can register the, reserve, the, the reverse resolver, but I couldn't find it. So I'm gonna do it from my either wallet instead. Uh, so as I said, interact with contract, we search uh, for the reverse registrant, and then uh, we go to set name. 
and then after we go for set name, we basically just take our own uh, our own newly registered uh, ins address, which is alexintosh dot if, and we use the write function. Gas became very expensive very soon. Doesn't really matter. I'm gonna give it like a 50 just to make sure it's fast enough. Can okay, close this thing. There you go. So our transaction is processing. I'm not quite sure where there isn't a button here saying um, set the reverse address. Uh, I think it should be here somewhere. Uh, I just couldn't find it. Okay, so our transaction is confirmed. Nice. So now if I go here and I hit refresh, We are going to see Alexintosh dot if popping out in the bubble. So that's it. That's how you set up your ENS correctly and you make sure your reverse uh, lookup uh, functionality works correctly. Um, thank you very much for watching. Ciao.